Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I hope you've uh, been able to join me today. Um, I know it's a little bit different. We'd normally be sat at the cafe now and uh, you'd have been eating your waffles, but it's not really gonna, gonna sort of pan out that way for a, for a little while at least. So um, I've put something together that I hope not just the people from normal classes can sort of do, but also people that have never tried this before and you're wanting something that might give you a little bit of, um, I know, focus, let's say. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be sticking with the basics and, and working from there. And I'm hoping that everything you've got, if, if you haven't got it, then that's fine. Just work with whatever you've got, even if it's a bar out or a pencil. But what I have done is I've put a little pack together that might be sort of useful for you. Um, I've got some tiles, got 12 tiles here. I've got some stencils that I'm not gonna be working with um, today. So I'm just gonna put them to one side for a little while. My pen, of course, my pencil, and my little torching on my paper stub. Now, if you've not got one, don't panic, but this is what makes your sort of work come alive a little bit, but it's the, the whole point of you doing it, not what it looks like at the end that I think is gonna help. And hi guys, it's lovely to see some names that I recognize kicking in there. Thank you for joining me. It, it is something quite new. I've not really done this before, so just bear with me. Um, I'm sure all will be well. Uh, I've got a couple little uh, Zen buttons there, which we can perhaps look at another time. Um, so what we're gonna focus on, we're gonna focus on just needing one of those tiles. And I've got my pen, my pencil, my torty on. Everything else, my desk's pretty clear. So we'll go from there. Hi, Sue. Um, so where do we start then? Deep breath, first of all, deep breath. I've just finished my cup of tea, so I'm relaxed or, or mostly. And let's just all calm down just for a little minute and focus in on what it is we're gonna do. So here we go, let's zoom in a little bit. So if you haven't got any of these tiles and you're working with some paper, my tile is 8.3 centimeters square. It doesn't have to be that size, it's whatever you wanna work with. But the whole idea is we're not gonna use something really big because you wanna just work in, in, you know, in the time constraints. So I'm gonna start with my pencil and I'm gonna add in, I'm not gonna be right at the end, you can see there, I'm gonna add in a little dot, one there, one there. Now I am pressing on a little bit more, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. But um, if you're at home, then you don't need to press on this much, just nice and light, just so you can hear, uh, you can see it. So from there then, I'm gonna join these dots together. Uh, don't worry about it being straight, particularly if you've got a bit of a wobble, that's fine. Let's actually let's put a little bit of a wobble in. There we go, one to the other. Then I'm gonna turn my tile. And then I'm gonna go from here down to this one. I'm gonna turn my tile. And from here down to this one. I'm gonna put a little bit of the kink in there, look, there we go. And then from here, I'm gonna go down to this one here. Okay, so we've done our dots and we've done our border. So the next thing we need to do is a bit of a string. Um, I'm not gonna to worry too much about that yet. Let's just, well, let's just put one down here nice and lightly. There we go. Okay, straight in then with pen and it's not too stressful just don't panic with this it's just if you go in with pen you're not worrying then about trying to go over it and be neat and everything later so here we go i'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what i'm doing and i'm going to be working on this line that we've created here so starting at this top end uh, i'm going to go a little bit bigger so you can see what i'm doing to start with i'm going to create some little poke root some of you think what on earth you're talking about some of you'll know this it starts with two lines and I'm going to go in with a little curve and then I'm going to create a little almost circular shape little bubble thing around it and then I'm going to have another one growing from there and turn it around so you see I'm not doing a whole complete row I'm just sort of using that line that I put in as a bit of a guide there we go a little bit there I'm just going to color that bit in little gap there and let's add one in here just slow down as I'm drawing those shapes there's no rush whatsoever to do this we're just going to take our time and build it up as we're going okay let's do it 
do one here. Now, I don't need to worry if your little shapes don't look the same as mine. And I do say this every class I do, I think. We're all different, so it stands to reason that whatever you're going to put down on this piece of paper, it's going to be different too. And that's absolutely fine. We all have our own little characteristics and we all have our own ways of doing these things. So just slowly work your way around. I'm just filling in those gaps as I go. Just take it nice and easy. So deep breaths as we go in. There we go. All right, just working my way from one to the other. It's nice to see that there are quite a few of us joining. Thank you ever so much. It's lovely to have your support. Um, and I hope that I can give you a little bit of relaxation this afternoon. If you're, uh, you're stuck at home or you're not sure where things are going, it's just nice sometimes to just chill out a little bit and, and not worry about that. At least the sun's shining, I suppose. That's one good thing. So uh, we're getting a little bit. It just feels better when the sun's out, I think. It just feels warmer, even if it isn't. There we go. So I'm just going to move this out a little bit so you can see how my my little sort of uh, world's growing. There we go. So you see that I'm just working from the top where I started that border and just working my way down. I'm going to work my way down to here. And it's not been a, a perfectly straight line, but who, who, who cares about that? It doesn't matter. I wanted it to be a little bit different. There we go, I might sneak one in there and then fill those bits in. There we go. So just working my way down, nice and gentle. Now you can actually, if, if you think this is going a little bit quick for you, you can watch this back afterwards. So don't worry too much if you, you're not keeping up, it's not a problem. You just take your time and, and enjoy the little bit that you're doing and work from there. Yeah. And in order to put this um, little kit together this morning, I've, I've got my stand out, but in order to be able to do this and have it in focus for you, I've actually got um, my board here on a box, on a table. So you can imagine at the moment, um, I'm not precarious at all, honestly, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit of a different way of working. It's not like sitting at the happy cafe with my cup of tea in hand. What's not to worry? We do always say actually on a Monday afternoon, the sun's usually shining when we go over there. It's very rare that it rains. Okay, so I'm almost there. You see, I've gone slightly over my border there a little bit. So here we go. Let's uh, add another one. That's the whole reason that we 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 do these things and we only have a border in pencil it means if you want to sort of go over a little bit you can do it's your choice whatever you want to do there we go so okay so i've got my my little sort of line of these little roots now I've filled some of those little gaps in there we go as you can see here we go look all the way along all slightly different sizes but it doesn't matter starting from the top here and i've worked my way all the way down okay I've gone over that but that's absolutely fine that's quite good i like that one okay so what next all right i'm going to be working on our next sort of tangle and let's go let's just take that in a bit so you can see where i'm going i'm going to start over here come in with a line and then i'm going to pretend i'm going underneath it and then i'm going to come all the way back out and I'm going to join my border there. I'm going to then aura or draw next to. See it's quite a th sort of a thicker one there isn't it? But I've repeated that shape. There we go. Now either side of that I'm going to do my best to do a th thinner line all the way down. Now don't worry if it's not thin all the way that's fine. I'm going to go a bit of a wobble there but it's all good. Same on that side. There we go. Now some of you will know this uh, pattern, but I've just changed it up a little bit and you'll see why later. So you can see from there, there we go. 
I've got this thicker space and then I've got some thinner lines through there. Okay. So working from that, let's turn the tile a little bit and I'm going to do one. I'm going to do one here underneath, following it through and through there. So again, making that a little bit wider than perhaps I normally would. There we go, underneath. And then I'm going to do that nice thin line either side. Again, just following it, going underneath when I reach another line. Just like that. There we go. So I've got two. So, again, uh, oh, which way to do? I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go from here through there and there. And I'm actually now going, I'm going to go straight through to the end of my tile. Just because I can. My tile. Right, I'll repeat that. And there we go. Straight through. And again, let's have some of those thinner lines either side. through there um, thinking maybe maybe just one more let's have one coming through here okay there. same again keeping that quite wide working my way through there those thin lines and there too So looking at that a little bit closer then, you can see that I've got quite a wide, oh, I'll show you the right one, quite a wide, and then I've got a thin one either side there. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this to, to put another pattern inside. So let's start, you know, start where, wherever you like really, I'm going to start sort of here. I'm going to start with a dot, let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see a little dot there, there we go. And then I'm going to aura right, draw around that dot until I've filled as much of that space as possible. There we go. There's something about drawing swirls actually, I really like it. It's uh, If you slow down and you just don't forget to breathe as you're doing it, I find that this really calms me down, really helps. And you see there that we've got this little gap. I could go in and I could put a little orb in there a little bubble or you can fill it in it's entirely up to you you can just color it in with some black so you get a little one in there I might move bits around the outside and then i'm going to continue that start with my dot and then i'm going to work my way around nice and gradually all the way through there we go a bit there and i'm going to put that little bubble in there as well Hi, oh, is that Simon? Hi, Simon. What spoke to you in ages? Hope you're well. Be safe. It was really nice to do these, actually, because you do see, you know, names of people that are watching. It's just nice to have that feedback. So, uh, thank you for your support. It's, I really appreciate it. Um, I hope I'm not going too fast. I hope you can keep up with me. Um, I'm keeping it nice and nice and relaxed. Are we breathing? deep breath there we go and we're just going to keep going with these swirls all the way along that row and those little bubbles in as we go there we go i wonder actually if there's anybody watching at the moment that you've been working on your tangle board your large or your small one um, actually it's been a little ray of sunshine for me that because i've decided to go all out with colors and I really enjoyed doing it. But um, just for this one now, we're gonna keep this in black and white. But, uh, it's just nice to have colors if you want to use them later, you can do. You can even, uh, you know, get your gel pens out once you've done this and add to it if you like. I will actually show you um, one of these that I've done and I've added it into my journal. Uh, just to show you what you, you could do with it. Right. Sometimes it's quite nice to keep a record of what you were doing and where you are. I know we don't all do that, and we all mean to. Look at that, I 
I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. There we go. You see why it's all the way through? So I'm going to continue that now along all of these little, uh, little lines. Put in those little bits in. Uh, when I get to here, fill in that little bit in as I go. Little dot. I know you don't have to particularly start with that dot, but for me it starts me off, and I know that's where I'm going to be. I'm going to be swirling from, and it just sort of fixes the point in my mind. So there we go. Oops, another go. So, bits at a time. There we go. I've been um, working on a new kit. For you out there so I'm supposed to be on creating craft on the 1st of April hopefully we'll still be uh, we're going ahead with that but um, I think when we finish I might give you a sneak peek of the uh, the artwork of what we're hopefully all going to be doing that'd be lovely do you know what actually I'm going to st stop that there because that's where my my borders finished Oh, so don't worry if you've missed the start. It's not a problem. You can go back and watch it afterwards. Um, so just sort of like follow along for now, or, uh, you know, or just uh, just do the just do the tangles, do the patterns on a, a piece of paper, just so you can get in with the flow of it. It's not a problem at all. There we go. So. At least I didn't have to go to the dentist this morning, I suppose. That's why, I mean, it frightens me to death, I must admit. But uh, it, it needed doing. At least it was only a check-up. So uh, everybody's being careful that way. There we go. I like it. This is looking, uh, it's looking pretty good, isn't it? Don't forget to turn your tile around um, now and again and have a look at it from arm's length. And you will see um, a difference. It's, it, tends to change actually which way you're looking at it there we go all right okay one more I'm going to start here I think for this one you don't have to start at the end but you can if you want to just uh, continue doing it as we go there we go ball that it's nice and gentle bits at a time as it goes so there is something about swirls I might actually you know, I'm gonna go outside with that swirl there we go oh hey Tracy oh that's really hard. thank you honestly just take your time with it. it it does take a little I suppose it takes a little bit sometimes to get into but just go with the flow and, and don't expect anything from it. Just think, you know, I'll, I'll just see where it takes me. And it doesn't matter. There's no right. There's no wrong. Just uh, just do your own thing. So, I mean, here, you know, if you wanted to, you could do these swirls in the opposite direction. You could, you know, make them bigger, make them smaller. You could just do little bubbles if you wanted to. It's whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with. So please don't worry about it. Just uh, Just have a go. There we are, let's put those little bubbles in. Working my way around. Sneak one in there. And I think I am gonna Yeah, I'm gonna put one out here as well. Just a dumb little there we are, look. Alright, so far so good. It's not looking bad at all. If I just sort of out a bit. Oh, it's coming a little bit more. There we go. So We've done our, our row, that's where we put our string and we added our little poke root on there. We've then drawn our lines and filled it in. And then from there, oh, hi Julie. Oh, Tangle has kept me sane. Trust me, I think if I said to my husband I was sane, I don't know what his answer would be. But you know what? Who cares? I keep saying he actually he should be doing this he should be calming down a little bit with me but getting him to do it he's like yeah I'll watch but maybe okay at this point I am just going to put my pen down for a minute and I'm going to come back in with my pencil um, because I want to create a grid um, and if I said to you all oh, draw some lines underneath 
It's going to be a little bit awkward. Now, I'm going to do it a little bit heavier than perhaps you would need to, just so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to create, imagine the thickness of your pen. I'm going to create a series of stripes or lines. There we go. Just down there. So if, if you feel the need that you've got to go over what you've done just to get those lines in, then please feel free to do so. That's why we, we're doing it in pencil. Straight over. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, shall I? Yeah, I'm going to squeeze a little one in there. And I'm going to turn my tile. So this is where if I started in the middle, I'll work my way out. I'll get three in there, look. There we go. So yeah, if you if you're doing this, if you do it lightly, then you don't need to do anything with these pencil lines going over because you won't see them. I've just done it a little bit darker so you can see where I'm going with it. Okay. Moving in pen then now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now draw in my border. See, going through that. But this one I've gone out. I'm going to leave it there and pick it up the other side. Turn it round. Same again here. Okay, now here's where I, I, uh, I drew that little kink. There we go. So it's something like that, there we are, following it through, and last bit here, so you see I've done a bit of a kink there, but that's entirely fine, okay, and then if I go in now and I draw in this grid, wherever I can see it, there we go, just make sure it, you know, it it touches whatever you're joining it up to. Nice and slow, so no rush, because you know exactly where this grid's going now. There we go. So you can't see it there now. Through there. There. Turn my tile. And from there, all the way down. Now don't worry if this grid isn't I say straight, it doesn't matter. Actually, if you wanted to do it slightly more curved, you could. There we go. And don't worry if your shapes inside are all slightly different. It's, it's not a problem. I'll just check that goes to there. And that goes to there. So I've got a bit of a grid underneath. It's almost like snakes and ladders, isn't it? If you look at it like that. Okay. So I'm going to make it a little bit larger so you can see one. All right, so my next one, deep breath, is next to each of these lines now, I'm going to create a little curve. And I'm going to follow it all the way down. See there, I can only do a little one because it's going underneath. And there, and there, and to there. You see how that sort of works there? And then here, from there these curves as I wander down. Same with this one. Now you might be working right to left or upside down or back to front or left to right, whichever whichever suits, it doesn't matter. Um, but for those of us that are, are left-handed, I suppose, I'm doing what comes natural. There we go. From there, look, see a little bit there. In there. And through there, through that one. Oh, not to forget this side here. Let's do that bit. From there. Okay. So then if I turn my tile, and I'm going to do the same again. So put one in here, and one there. Underneath that one. Go through. Same on this one. So it looks totally like it's underneath that last one. Okay, sneaky one there. A bit of this. Filling that one in. It's a lovely pattern this is. It means that you can do other patterns within the, the sort of uh, spaces that are left. 
Let's see, Mr. Lima. I'll turn my tail again. Hi, Bernadette. Thank you for joining us. And again, I'm just going to keep going. Oh, look, I've missed one. That's okay. Go back and put it in. That was sneaky. There we are. So it's sort of forming this almost petal like shape. having that grid there drawing it in pencil to start I think just to uh, helped us out a little bit I mean that we've gone underneath what was already there so in we go oh, get one in there one in there and just turn it again and let's work this one now so that's all it should be when I've done this bit all sides done. Come way through. There we go. There we are. Nice little bits. You can sort of see it coming together now. There we go. A bit there, look. Yeah, you're going to see a bit there. A little bits there. Okay. So we've got one two three we actually got four different tangles there quite liking that i think do you know what that's enough on there so let's move from our pen now go into pencil okay so let's just have a, a larger look at these um, little uh, root type shapes and all i'm going to do on these just to give it a little bit of life is to add in just a little Ooh, hang on, let's move that down so you can see what I'm doing. Where am I? There we go. Little, little curves there. Just a little bit of, of that pencil. It's almost like they've got a little smirk at the side of their face, a little smile there. There we go. Just working my way down. They don't have to be on the same side if you don't want it to be. That's absolutely fine. Just want a little bit right in there it's going to go back up to the top and uh, oh, there we go and just do those so you don't need to press on or anything just wants a little bit of graphite okay I think what I am going to do oh, is sort of go around the whole of that shape with some pencil okay see where that's going so I'm not being particularly neat I'm just adding some in there there we go and i'm even going to come down to this bit see down to that bit there so you can see it's a little bit scribbly but that's absolutely fine and then i'm going to work my way back up the other side this is the the tangle that's sort of most out at the front so let's give it a little bit of a, of a shape there there we go okay so then using our little um, paper stub. So there's rolled up paper, nice sharp point there, look brand new one. I've got a new one out specially. And all I'm gonna do is, where I put that little smirk, I'm just gonna smooth it out a touch. Just like a, not doing too much, just, just softening the edge a little bit. As so. So I'm gonna work my way down, just sort of, lifting that little bit of graphite out there just uh, gradually working my way down okay get it through okay oh lost it there you go got carried away so from here then oh I see thank you yours is going to be just as good honestly for something that's you know a little bit of uh, paper and a pencil we can create some beautiful little pieces so you can see I'm just ever so gentle and I'm just smoothing graphite out nice and there uh, nice and gentle there same on the other side oh, yeah. 
So that's because I'm watching my tile more than I'm watching the screen. And I'm getting nice and nice and chilled with this now. Here we go. Making my way down. So there we are. So if I then move that out a little bit, you can see where now it's got a little bit more. It's got a little bit of shadow either side of it. It's lovely that is, isn't it? Okay, so the next one then, let's work on this one. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to press on a little bit more now and I'm going to put quite a little bit of pencil on. I bet you can see that quite clearly there. Look, there you are, it's quite a bit there. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. I've not been shy with that graphite there, you have really pressed on, see? And I'm going to do that with all of the others. So straight through, even that one that's gone down there. There we go. Turning it round as I go. Pressing on. There we go. And the last one. And through there. Okay. Okay. So let's just again, just nice and gentle, smooth the outer touch. You see, I'm not particularly going in with circles this time. I'm just sort of extending the line and pulling it out a little bit with me. I'm not trying to cover everything. I'm just giving it a little bit of a smoothness to it. Oh, who's that that says they need to get their stuff out? Oh, Bernadette, you do. Yeah, it should be out on the desk. Come on, get it, get it out. Honestly, we we should um, we should be doing it. Come on. There you go. I know sometimes though, I suppose it can be a little bit daunting. You look at these things and you think, oh, they're beautiful, and I can never do that. But honestly, small steps, a little bit at a time. You can do this. You can. You really can. Look at that. Okay, so that's starting now. That looks like it's coming coming to life. It's a little bit higher, you know, and this is starting to go backwards. So working with that then, back into pencil. And you can notice where these sort of little petals meet. You've got this black almost little button in the middle anyway. So what I'm going to do is just add some more pencil to that and just sort of like deepen it a little bit. And again, if I show you quite quite close up, you see it's not particularly neat. I've just gone in and scribbled on it a little bit. Okay. So from there, that's fine. The next, oh, okay, there's a couple more. There you are. One there, one there. Right on the end. There. The end. Squeeze them in. There we go. Imagine doing this on a, on a curve. That'd be quite cool. All right, tortillon. So I'm going to do is I'm just going to smooth out. Just oh, miss one. Look, miss two. Oh no, miss more. There you are. Look. Just really gently, just sort of like pull it out a little bit. So we're not, and you know, we're not trying to cover everything. We're just giving it a little bit of a lift. There you are. Look. So again, I'm not being particularly artistic with this. It's just pushing it round it along. Hi Leslie. Your board looked amazing by the way. It was really good. If you've not seen the Leslie's board, she did put a photo on. I think it was the weekend. There we go. See I've got enough on my tortillon. I can just go in and fill those. Alright, let's have a look at that. See what it's like at the minute. Okay. Alright. Cup just couple more little bits I think what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to put some pencil down two sides only two so I'm going to go with this one and this one there you are and I've been quite heavy with it all right and then with my torty on again just smooth it out a touch Okay. 
head back in with pen for the last job and I'm going to put my initials we don't we don't put our full name on the front of a tile we usually do that on the back so there we go my initials there you go so you can put that anywhere you like it really doesn't matter so looking at that now if we to arms length it a bit and turn it slightly so just by doing the two edges you can see that it's got a little bit of dimension that's not bad at all i am actually going to do it on the back now, for those of you that you've never done this before you're like oh my goodness there's a back bit i will put my whole name on there we go and we do this particularly you know you can imagine if there are people there and you put all these tiles together you make a lovely mosaic but then you can never find your own what date are we on today? It's oh, 23rd. 23rd of the 3rd 20. And this is tile number number one for today. So there we go, number one. All right, so that means now I know it's mine. And, I, you know, I can make other notes and things on there, should I want to. But um, I've sort of owned it now. Oh, thank you, Tracy. I hope you're going to give this a go. So what do you do with it now? I mean, you can you put it in a journal, and I'm going to show you that in a moment. But you could also, um, you could put some little, you know, photo corners on, and you can actually use it as a card topper if you wanted to. But I think at the moment, it might just be nice to record what you're doing each day and have something to say, right, today I'm going to do this, and, and this is what it looked like. And then you've got a little bit of a record of, of what you've been doing. Now, it doesn't say that we've done these patterns in this way. You have to do them in that way. You can use them for other things. So here's, um, here's one I've done in the journal. And you can see it's the same patterns. It's very, very similar to this one. But that one's going up instead of down. And I've got a few extra bits in there. And you can see that this is a bit smaller. But that's fine. But then I've done it in a slightly different way as well. <laughs> Are you sure? You promised now. You promised. So you can see where I said with this pattern, I've done it quite straight here. But on this one, you can see where I've gone in at a sort of an angle. So please don't worry about your straight lines. It's not a problem at all. And then I've added a little bit in. Let's go in a bit more there, look. And I've added in some lines. So I've gone from one end to the other or one point in the centre to the other. And I've drawn a series of lines in there. And then you can see that here, this pattern that I've done, I've done it smaller and finer underneath, so it gives it a little bit more of a, a sort of a sense of depth there. But don't think it just confines to your tile. You can see that what I've done here is I've taken this pattern and I've started to add it on my journal page as well. And then down here at the bottom, you can see that I've actually extended it. Oh, hold on a second. So I've gone from the tile all the way down. It looks like it's going under that border and then it's coming out here onto my journal page. Same with this one here. So it might be worth doing a, a couple of them maybe and then just seeing, you know, playing with them, seeing how you can get them to go together. And then, of course, on the bottom there, I've written, it's my first Facebook Live Tangle and this is the date that I did it on. Uh, but I, I did want to sort of very quickly mention this one this is one of the this is the download that i've put on my in my shop for people and and thank you those that you've been uh, taking it all weekend it's great i want you to you know take it and play with it and have a go so here's your instructions and then here you've got the main sections now usually this would be a stencil that you could use to draw around but of course we, we can't do that at the moment so i'm saying take this and whether you print it off like this or whether you enlarge it you see what I've done here, I've actually taken it and I've created the three separate sections. I've made it a bit big and you see three different sections. This one, the one with the dots, if you look at, excuse me, I'm just going to move my journal a second. If you look at the outside frame, you can see here that I've given you the instructions for how to create that outside frame. So working from one to the next, working alongside as such and then around the outside by the way you can you can print this off as many times as you want you can go as large as you want you can make it as small just to practice it's fine so you can see where the patterns come in there oh who's that hi patricia and 
Okay, so then I'm going in and creating a bit of a pattern. Yeah, I'm actually following these instructions. Um, but as you can I suppose that I've written them, I sort of know where I'm going and I might change them about a bit, but that's fine. So you can see where that's that's sort of working. Creating there, and there's always got to be a little bit of colouring in. There we go. So you can see where that's sort of starting to form. Um, creating the lines, it's find your centre and split your space and that's something that I do ever such a lot see I'll get two in there see and then the section underneath if I do this a little bit bigger I've done a lot of uh, bubble shapes there we go see I'm going to just fill in those little gaps and then I'm going to add line on there one other side see the one in the middle is a bit thicker do it all from different directions so that gives me that so then creating the inner section you see you can just draw it in here or I've actually done one that's I've cut out and you can see where it starts to fit together there so I'll take that one out of the way for a minute so everything that we do sort of in the middle is actually in the middle of your frame there uh, I know it's a little bit small there, but it, it gives you an idea. And you can see that what I've done, if you split your sections up, yeah, colour that bit in, and then split it that way. You see, and it's that repetition all the time of you trying something a little bit different, but you just keep repeating. Do you see how quickly that builds up? Okay. And then the same on this piece. Here I've created a stripe. And then here you'll recognise this pattern now. It's one we've just done. There's lots and lots of little lines in there. And then obviously putting those together, you can see in a second where it can start to form that sort of shape going on. So I don't want to dwell too much more on that. Um, I mean, shading wise, I tend to go in there with that one, and then this one around the edges. So you can see where that's coming from, backing with that tortillon. Now, obviously, it depends on your, your papers how well your, uh, your graphite spreads. I'm using cartridge paper which is in all my journals but if you're using like a super smooth it'll still do it but it won't spread as much so just be aware of that so you can see where it starts to sort of come together a little bit and um, let's just add a touch in there from there a little bit okay so please feel free download that one and you know use it let's move that out of the way so you can see what i'm doing there but, you know, use the patterns that we've just done on the tile and, and use them instead if you want to. But you can see where that will start to build up quite nicely. So uh, just before you go, I did say I'm working on a new project ready for the 1st of April for Creative Craft. And I wanted to show you the piece of artwork that we're going to be uh, we're going to be working on. So um, so here goes. This is bear in mind is going to be a kit that you start from scratch. So it's going to start from a blank piece of paper and you can see here that we're then starting to create different tangles and different patterns oh, look at the rows yeah you're going to be able to draw that and all those feathers so if i turn it that way and that way hopefully you can sort of see where i'm going with that so this is going to sort of um yeah, hopefully come out 1st of April. Fingers crossed. So yeah, oh, oh somebody's asked about the, the download. Okay, if you can go to my shop, or there's a post actually that's further up than this one, and it does say that there's a link There's a link on there you could click. Or if not, go into my shop. There's a, a button at the top of the page that you can click on, and it's there. You just click on it, and it does say, oh, you know, would you like to buy, I think, or something. But it's, it's totally free. All you have to do... Just click on it and go through the process and it'll send you then an automatic download that you can just download it uh, okay so i'm hoping to come back if if you want me to um i'm thinking perhaps wednesday at two o'clock i'm going to do another tile and i'm probably going to work on one of these stencils so 
if you've not got a stencil it's not a problem find yourself i don't know maybe a circle or a shape actually i might use the um no, I'm going to use the heart. You know, you can draw yourself a heart or red. Draw it freehand if you want. I say, I have got these little emergency kits on my, my Facebook page if uh, if you want to. I've done it as, as cheaply as I possibly can. I'm, I'm not actually making any money on this. It's just about getting something out so you can work with it. And I did actually go to the post office and just checked on postage. And it's uh, it's going to be £1.15 to post it out. And that's, that's all I'm charging postage because... Um, I can get that you know in the letterbox for you so if that's any use then please feel free and go and do that but if not use whatever's around use whatever you you've got um, but just come back and do it again with me so there's our tile that's what we've done today hopefully you've got something out of it please you know watch this this video back and and have another go or try it in different ways and please post and let me know how you're getting on uh, we're all here we're all doing our best so um, please stay stay well and stay safe and I'll speak to you all soon all right take care bye